Plug that up. Oh, so Jada is getting me. What is this? To hold the computer so it don't fall. You want the computer to fall? Oh, okay. She's setting me up so I can edit. Um, I need the plug. Yeah. Thank you, Shorty. Y'all, today is day the day after um my surgical procedure. And I'm in the bed, and I just had breakfast. I'm just going to prop my arm up on this uh, towel fan, because <sighs> y'all know I got story time, right? I got a whole story time of an incident that happened while I was in the hospital, okay? What? You done with you. He said you gotta let him be on this broadcast every time you do a broadcast. I did one since uh, September third. He wanna be on the broadcast. It's not a broadcast, it's women who want. Well he calls it a broadcast. I didn't say broadcast. You did just say broadcast. Where did I get the word from? Okay, okay, so podcast, there you go. So the next one I'm doing is on this date. What's the topic though? It's a lot of topics. I want to hear what his. I don't, it's a. It's question and answers of people. The things that they didn't ask me um, on the live last week uh, about things that's going on in the world right now. Um, where's my calendar? Yeah. She gonna give you the date, so you just need to be ready. I might do it Saturday, this Saturday, the twenty fourth. I had to postpone it from last week because I wasn't feeling good. What time? Nine o'clock. You heard that? You put that on your schedule? Now, now let me tell you. I, gotta, I, gotta, I, gotta, I can do it from my house. You can do it from your house? house? On the computer. That's what everybody else do. Perfect. Look, I want you to look at me, son. <laughs> Don't be telling me you're going to do something. You're asking me, can you be on Women Who Wine with the men, okay? Men, women who whining with the men tonight. And then if at the last minute your ass come on talking about, um, I ain't got no haircut. He's um, getting a haircut, actually. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't shave. Um, I don't want to be on there because I'm scared. I'm going to be pissed at you. He's not you. a scary cat. Turn the volume up. You what? Hmm? I said, oh, no, ma'am. I'm very high maintenance. I'm not like that. Okay, now nah. don't be out in the street somewhere. Talking about nah, nah. mama's. I don't even be in the street. He don't. He be on two K. That's what you. That's what you be on two K. Two K. I'm a hardworking man. That's it. Okay, brother. I like the hardworking man. Um. So you got to be willing to talk about what we gonna talk about, cause we be asking things from a male's perspective. A and, lot of questions you gonna be thrown off about when and, you get. And, and don't be scared, cause Mr. Long be on that too. Okay. Well, this will be quite interesting. Oh, he's gonna be on the line. Yeah, because when we want women, when we want with men, your daddy always a part of it. Oh, watch that show. That's had to be interesting. 
I think I think she's trying to say you scared. No, 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 no. I'm saying interesting because it's a guy friend of mine and dad on the same thing. Yeah, it's yeah. going to be interesting. Yeah, I'm trying. You don't to, know Tashawn from. And I'm going to try to get Jones, Deshaun on that too. So I'll have a James, Tashawn, and Deshaun. Deshaun, Deshaun is funny. Wait, you said, you said your dad? Yes, my home? father's going to be on there too. Oh, that's fun. He just got scared. No, he didn't. Tashawn's no, always no, wanted no. to. He's always wanted to talk hey, to them. I, I, I speak to the youth, anyways. Oh, you speak I, to I, the I youth. Do stuff like that, yeah. Okay, so you're a very positive influence. Yeah. And he's very oh, yeah. open. Okay, so if I ask you to, um, I'm, I'm gonna ask you this question: What is your thoughts about uh, Chris Jenner pimping her daughter, Kim Kardashian? I'm not the best person to ask stuff like that, only because I'm the type of person where I don't pay much t- much attention to the Kardashians since, you know, they're not really doing nothing for me or my people. Okay. He's not real social media. Benefiting from worrying about their lifestyles. Okay. Basically. But would you pimp your daughter to come up? Yeah, like her mama did her. Oh, no, 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 no. Never. Okay, well, I like your answer because you say you don't, we don't be messing with the Kardashians because what are they really doing for our people? And absolutely nothing. Fine, nobody asked for your two cents. Fine said me too. He said, I said I agree with him. Is that the painters? Are they painting the house? Can we go smell paint You have to get out the house? No. Jada, you're like I ain't never painted the house before. And we stayed in it after? Jada, I've painted walls and we, where did we go? <laughs> we stayed in our house. The hell? Okay. Okay, Tashawn, this is going to be a good Wait. conversation. Oh, yeah, it's going to be a good session, for sure. Okay, we can you hear, tell your mom to watch. We can hear we can hear how the men in your age group how they think. Yeah. Do you believe in putting a title on a relationship or do you like to say we just hanging out? Nah, I believe if two I believe two adults. See you gotta we gotta be specific when we say that only because um yeah. Two adults and I don't mean adults by age. By mindset, mm-hmm. two adults know what they both want, so I feel like two adults to be able to sit down and say, "Hey, this is what we are, and that's that." So you believe in putting a relationship status, making sure Correct. it is clear that you am you are mine and I am yours. Correct, because I feel like a lot of people try to put friend on the title, but don't do friend thing, but they just use that as an excuse to not be serious with one another. Okay. I you trying to test out his head. I am. The show. I am. I'm quizzing him. I am. Quiz. Crazy. Yeah, because you you have to you have to. He just said an adult. Another person I would say you could talk to is Jaren, but. Nah, in my mindset, I don't know. Nah. That's trying to play Jaren. She loves Jaren. That don't mean Jaren mindset is there though. Okay. And he could be on I the just, next. I next, just next. really be. I really be con- con- really trying to figure out the mindset of young men who are in their twenties and thirties these days. What are their views on relationships? And you know, do you see yourself getting married? Do you see yourself settling down? Do you believe in uh, uh, monotony? I mean, monogamy. Do you believe in that? Because some of y'all, not saying you. But some of y'all just be acting like y'all ain't got no home training. It's boys. And that's what determines a boy from a man. Yeah. I said that boys. Yes, I'm saying that's what determines the difference from a boy from a man. He be pickpocketing in my mind. so He, he be pickpocketing your mind. Not in a bad way. Like, he speaks a lot of positive things. I said, if that's what determines boys to men, um, 
some of y'all ain't got no home training. You look so happy to be on a, a podcast speaking. Yeah, man. <laughs> All right, you better represent for y'all 20s. Of course. Represent. Don't come on there acting uh, like you ain't got no home training now. Well, see, look. I could say I'm representing for the 20s, but, you know, I more so trying to influence the 20s, more so. Okay. Only because I could say I'm representing, but I mean, I can only represent myself. Absolutely. Remember that conversation you and Dad had said when I lost my job? And you said somebody got to be the leader of the group? Yes. Tashan's the leader of all of us. Yeah. That's what he, I he's like. the influencer for all them boys. Okay, so there needs to be a leader for the guys, and there needs to be a leader for the young ladies. Oh, Kayla and I can take that well, job. My so. point. That's, I, 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 I try I to speak knowledge and be some data that is a little thick right now. So. Tell me about it because I have to get through that thick, thick head myself sometimes yeah. and be telling her. I'm trying to tell her that he needs to be the girl example. But. Yes, you do. You need to be a role model. Somebody needs to step up. In your, in your friend group, if, if, if you all of y'all on the same level, who is there to inspire you to level up? Exactly. We all can't be on the same level. Right. And if you are, you need new friends. You should want to be around people who want to aspire you, inspire you, motivate you. That's the type. Not trying to tell you, man, yeah, fuck that job. Fuck that job. Fuck that job. None of them said that anyway. I didn't say none of them said that, but you don't understand the mentality I be saying I be talking about. Like I said, you done had some great situations, and I would hope that by now you done learned your lesson from some of these situations, particularly this one. Now you see, still being in retail, now you ain't got the situation that you had the last time, eight to four, Monday through Friday, um, off on the weekends. You don't got that same um, capability now. I don't, oh, I only worked retail since 1996. Uh, I told myself this is my last job. All right, All right brother. You finna get that real estate license? Yes, man. I got my, I'm, a, I'm an official business owner now. He has an LLC. So All right. You are f- official. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Because that's, you know what? That's the first step. Oh, you got the okay, y'all. Look who's back in town. Hey. I got my nails done. I got my little jewelry flanking. That's how you introduce yourself? Oh, look. look. <laughs> That's how you introduce yourself? Hey, ladies. We will be whining on Saturday. And we will be blogging on Friday. How she know all this? How, how she come here and gonna tell me how I'm gonna run the show? Yeah. Anywho. That's how we roll. <laughs> Would you believe this chick told us? No comment. It was gonna be cold, and look what I came in on. Looking like Inspector Gadget. <laughs> Ashley Clinton. I'm Inspector Gadget. Okay, Inspector but I had to go to the thrift with my daughter. So when we went to the thrift store, I'm the collector, the jewelry collector. So if you want any jewelry, let her know. And I will deliver. Okay, and who Y'all ain't gonna believe this. I was on the plane arriving. And guess what? They charged me $5 for Pepsi. So now she in Longhorn asking for a cup of ice because she's gonna drink this $5 drink. She's gonna drink this. I ain't paying for no soda. She's not. Yes, she is. Okay, and who she's are you? Like 13, Asia. 16. She's 19. Show me. Asia. When I have a week to talk, she's definitely. You eat all the bread over here. Okay, so, so tell, tell everybody, because I ain't seen you in a long time, girl. You done grew up on everybody. She ain't um Ruby Red no more. Who is Ruby Red? The I'm lipstick. I'm just going to talk for me. <laughs> like, okay. okay, stop eating so okay. we can not look in your mouth while you got bread. Okay. She like butter, y'all. Hey, y'all. It's Asia. Y'all ain't seen me since I was like five years old. Girl, it's been, they done seen you since you was five. You were like, 
since I was nine. Good, I just saw you in April. <laughs> oh, yeah, for my birthday. Yes. All right. Y'all ain't seen me since I was 11. That is the ghetto. I can't stand You and Jada do that. Jada be doing it. And, and, and I be like, uh, Y'all ain't seen me since I was nine. No, 11. Yes, y'all ain't seen since I was 11. And, um, Y'all gonna be seeing a lot of me this weekend. And I miss eat, sleep, be on the phone, and chill. <laughs> oh, Period. how old are you now? I'm 12, turning 13. Oh my God. You're 13, I'm yeah. Y'all no. know me. Who is, who is that? The loving sister that she loves. <laughs> but she loves us all, but I'm just saying. <laughs> No, that's my daughter Asia. That's a twin. I, I know it was two of you. I know, right? I am. It's just like Nicki Minaj. Roman. I'm excited to be here, y'all. And we're gonna have a ball this weekend. Yes. You know we didn't hit the thrift as soon as we left the airport. Right. <laughs> and now we're gonna eat at Longhorn. Yes. Yes, yes, and y'all will see me a little later. I just wanted y'all to see the gang. They just got in around about 1040. No, y'all like got here pretty early. Yeah, yeah we did. I we was like surprised. Like probably, what, 30 minutes early? We all gave him a tip. Mama, no. said if he did, get us here quick. She know she get a damn pile no damn tip. She did not. We tipped on by him. All the money he made, he don't need no tip. We tipped on by him. Who is he? The, the pilot. pilot. Oh, that man scared me. He kept on twisting and turning, making the plane shake. I was like this every time it shook. That was when we was in the clouds. Yes, like, I said You this. know how the clouds. That's called turbulent. Turbulent, yeah. He said, he said, Turbo. He said, make sure you put your seatbelts on. I'm like this. And as soon as we get up in there, I'm like this. You haven't flown in a while, have you? Since I was five. I've drove no. everywhere, I think. Why are you saying? tearing the best part the of the grid up? That time she flew down here, was she was not five. five. I was five. I remember. Oh, yeah, because we went to New Jersey. Or, oh. I mean, New York. Yeah, she had we that was, wig we on. Because we was going to the Beyonce concert. Yeah. Oh, my God. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. Oh, my God. Seven years did pass by. Oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> it's been a long no. time. She bring I, more bread. That's okay. I'm going to get some of this. Uh, we'll get some. Eat that. I ate it. What, you you pulled off the crisp. That's for those people right there. You pulled all the, the best part you of the bread off. You pulled the best part off. So leave some for somebody else. Ooh, child. Eat okay. Y'all, this is going to be a good ass vlog she this week. Okay? For real. She for real. real. I got ginger ale. She ain't going to waste nothing. <laughs> Shirley Temple. You might have to bring us some more butter. Because they, they feed in fat. <laughs> I got you. <laughs> <laughs> Feed and fat, okay? Really That's what Ashley said. I'm going by what Ashley said. What you drinking? Ginger ale. Uh, that is my crack juice. Yeah. Yeah. Ginger ale. Ginger ale. Yeah. Ginger ale. Ginger ale. Ginger ale. Ginger Girl, I, I would have thought turn ahead. Okay. I bite my tongue just a bit. Come on, snaps. Come on, snaps. Come on. Look who is in the building. Me. The whole thing. This goes out to Jane. Really? Really? This goes out to my homie. Really? Really? Yes, yeah, so I got visitors this week. And we're about to turn up. Yeah, we're about to turn up. Not too much. A lot. A lot. A lot. Well, it can't be too loud because baby's going to sweet. <laughs> so, Mama, what you asked Ashley? I asked Ashley. Why did? How does you get it on feel the camera? You want to act to be a mother of a young daughter that would be thirteen years old soon? I mean, I don't know. You don't know. You're doing it. I know. I mean, I enjoy raising a daughter. I'm glad God only gave me one, though. Girl, I'm glad for you, too, honey. Baby. Girls is a lot. Tell her. What if she would have been a twin? Oh, baby, one of them had going to have to live with you. <laughs> Tell her. You couldn't deal with two of you? <laughs> uh-uh. Asia is enough. a good girl, but she enough. She enough. Too much personality. I, 
Uh, I can answer for her. Uh, could you um stop smacking so we can hear you? It'd be a lady. Yeah, chew, chew your food up, darling. There you go. I think raising a daughter for my mom is cool. Because you know, we twins. Because you know, we actually is twins. I can tell y'all that because yeah. everything about us is like twins. When she get her ladies' days, I get my ladies' days. When she likes something, I like something. All oh, that we twins. That's 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 why she like my day one ever since I was born. Oh, so, she knows she better be your day one. Like, if I didn't choose anybody, I'll put her before anybody. I swear. I just and like. Put anybody before her? What about me? Grandma, you. <laughs> I, I help raise her. But mama, she feel like that about her mama. That's good, and that is that's great. That's how her mama felt about me. That's even how we feel about you. We don't kind of mama look about you, lady. You know that, right? Right. Even though she got to like hit me and stuff sometimes. Really? I understand why. Don't say got, hit. Well, say, she got to whoop me. Not whoop. Don't say whoop say, it don't even discipline. Say discipline. When she got to discipline oh, really? me sometimes. Doing it to like protect me and stuff, so I understand why she do it. But no, to get you on track. Yeah. You have to get me on the position I'm supposed to be, and and you're gonna appreciate it one day. What is it? What is it? So I think for her raising a daughter is like it's cool, and it's survives. But it's what? A little bit. She says cool, but it's what? It's cool and survive. Survive. A vibe. And it's like a vibe. Anybody, nobody can never. And I'm going to hold you to that. It Nobody better not be no man, no boy, no or no trick friend. These dirty boys. Hold on. Or no trick ass friend. These little trying to tell you about your mama. You hear? You better tell you. You better slap your mama like they told Steph. Excuse what? me? What? You remember back in the day? <laughs> when I got slapped at the school, oh, they yeah. said if I was you, I would have slapped her back. And your ass would have been dead. Exactly. Okay. Dead. The funeral would have been the following week. <laughs> <laughs> We've been having a repast, right? Mm -hmm. No, ma'am. Uh uh. I don't, I don't play that. I really believe in treat your parents ain't no imitation and your mother life. and father with respect. Right. And you, that's at least that's one little demerit for you to get into heaven, honey. And I think that people, they shouldn't like, like kids. They shouldn't be talking bad about their parents stuff because they shouldn't be they, what? They shouldn't like be talking terrible about their parents or like shouldn't like disrespect them and treat them with respect because like you don't know the stuff they went through to put you here and Ooh. stuff and you don't know what they had to do to get you where you is today or buy you all these clothes and stuff. So that's why you should be grateful of your of your parents or whoever we live with. I like how you just said that. Whoever you living with, be grateful. Right. Even if it's a stepdad. You had to just say that, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm done. But he love her like she is. He loves you just like mm -hmm. you did. So y'all, I just, I got Her that ass. feeling. Y'all know when I stole something, when I feel like I stole something from the thrift store. Well, today was the day, Barbara. The black and white coat Riri wears with the faces. Yes! <laughs> and I was about to snatch grandma's. She was. And I was about to snatch grandma's. I have no problem with snatching one right quick. Okay. Okay. That was the. Oh my God. That just made the highlight of my day right there. Okay. Jiminy, Alexander Wings heels are about. Mm -hmm. Ashley, you look like a black oh, girl. Oh, Ashley, you look so warm. <laughs> you look so warm, honey. Oh, who let you haul that coat, girl? Oh, yes, she did.
She says she's There's back. There's the throne. She says she's back. Oh, Grandma's back. Grandma's back. What Oreo? I thought Oreo coming. No. Oreo spending time with his cousins. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry, Bon Bon, Oreo couldn't come. You needed a friend too, huh? Hold up. I think Oreo need to see how a dog supposed to be treated. <laughs> For <Don't> real. <laughs> Look at it. <laughs> he said that damn Bon makes me sick. <laughs> Look how he got my mama acting. Look at her. Holding him. <laughs> you be you're betraying me, Mom. Who is that yeah. kid? Look how you looking at you, Ashley. Go ask you. That's your auntie. She said you want to buy me stuff. Ooh. Somebody drew see. that on there? Yeah. No, I bought the painting uh -huh. and then I signed it. Really? Yeah. That's so cute and okay. unique. Yes. This is us. Oh, Grandma Oreo. Grandma Oreo. Oh, that's that's my brother over there, y'all. Belle <laughs> long, <laughs> okay. This is the uh, Moroccan room. The Moroccan room. Okay. It's the vibes. It is mine. A whole vibe. Okay. Mr. Is in his closet. She. This is a whole nother room. This the closet for real, for real? Yeah. Oh, okay. Jeez, it's big. You don't even go shopping in here. Sure can. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's another little corner over there. Okay. Then over here. Um. I'm surprised oh. your camera didn't die yet. <laughs> This is the monster. You trying to check your brain? <laughs> no. You check your it's the rock vibes for me. It's spa vibes. Oh, spa vibes. Yes. Yes. The spa. The spa. Ooh, what is that again? A moose? Uh, a deer. A deer. Oh, <laughs> I said a moose. <laughs> That is so nice. Look, God moved it when he did the painting. Okay. Okay. We're gonna leave James right there in that spot. Yeah, to get my name in there. We don't need to see your feet. <laughs> <laughs> I made sure I kind of. <laughs> you blocked the message. Really, ma? <laughs> Let me zoom in. <laughs> Mom, don't break my chair. I'm not, I'm not here. Okay. Okay. We are family. Uh huh, uh huh. I got all my sisters and me. Hey, we are family. Uh huh, uh huh. Everybody is on next to This is the deck. Ooh. Deck yard. It's fall season, so that's why I'm going to leave everywhere. Right. And it's cold, y'all. It's real cold. I just love the faces. Yes! And then this piece of art has lots of faces hidden inside of it. I see them. You see them? Mm hmm I see one face. I see a lot. I didn't see one face. It's a lot. Okay, this is the powder room. It smells so good. I'm not quite finished with this yet. I still want to get like some more black and white signs and stuff. Right. And then one of the pantries. And then have a Everything has a home. Everything. The laundry room. Hey. 
Oh, this is James Mann's cave. Oh, his office. Everybody come on and say. <laughs> he probably unplugged it. <laughs> oh, no. I need to turn There you go. I know. <laughs> Cowboys. This is my brother's office. Sergeant Long, to be exact. Let me pull up this. Let me pull <clears throat> what you looking for? The wildflower. Oh, okay. Well, we are about to wind down, shower up, and relax. And we will get back to y'all lovely people later. Hey, y'all. We are Ubering on our way to the bus station because we are going to make our way to New York City, the big city. It was so big, they had to name it twice. New York, New York. <laughs> Say hey, y'all. All right, we'll get back to y'all. Yeah, Asia made it seem like she's not cold, but we know the truth. We know yeah, the truth. Okay. We know up? the truth. Say hey, everyone. Hi. <laughs> not the soul train. Y'all, it is really, really, really cold. But I think we're going to survive because the sun peeking out a little bit. She's so extra. She really acting like she's not cold. Like, she cold. We know you cold, Pooh. We know. Look at her face. Because we cold. We all cold. She's shaking in her knees. <laughs> <laughs> I told you to pack appropriate clothes. Do you want to pack appropriate clothes? Yes, I did. I told you to bring a nice big jacket for New Jersey cold weather. <laughs> Oh, if you walk around more, she'll be all right. She'll be all right. Oh, Y'all, we was just jaywalking across the street. Well, since the bus isn't coming anytime soon, we are now going to go eat something at Dunkin' Donuts. Please don't hit me. People drive reckless around here in these streets. <laughs> that song is stuck in your head, huh?
You talk more shit than I talk. So I don't know why you have a show and Tyler Perry didn't give me a show. How that shit works. Are you, are you part of the show? <laughs> It can't be two talk shit. I'm doing just fine. Oh, I'm sorry what happened. I'm so sorry. Talk about what you painted. Okay, let me get it. Let me get it. Let me get it. Let me get it. Yes. Who are you dismissing? Donald Trump. Okay. Okay. Over here looking like a broke ass Rick James. Hey, hey. Broke ass. Rick James. Rick James, bitches. Rick James. Rick James. Who you called in the pit? That's what Rick James says. I'm fine. The pimp. Oh my god. I'll pimp everybody. I'll pimp grandma if she wanted me to. Hell, grandma don't play that shit. <laughs> I want to come stay for a month with you. Uh, no, fine. You want to stay nowhere. Oh, yeah. Nope. So, that nope. them don't know. You're going to come shit. back fat. I was shit everywhere. You're going to come back so fat. That's all right. Come on, it's us. Come on, it's us. Won't y'all come on over to the gram? Not shit. I'm on the gram. Come over to the tube, Eclect Music University, and let's get into this lunchtime accessory sale. Okay? <laughs> be there or be square. Bye. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. 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 Hey, y'all. Okay. I know I have been... MIA. I know this. I don't need nobody co-signing, putting a stamp on it, or period. Okay? I know. If you caught up with me earlier this week, you know, I mentioned to y'all that I've been a horrible vlogger. Horrible. Okay? Horrible. No lies told. Okay? And I just said, you know what, let me just come out here in the raw and let me just, you know, let's get back into this, Stephanie. Okay? Like I said, if you were keeping up with me any of the beginning of this week, 
I had did a live get ready with me lunchtime edition and I was just telling y'all why my ass is ghost last week okay so I was apologizing to y'all it was an apology in case some of y'all missed it so your girl is up this morning I have a doctor's appointment and I have a p appointment with my primary physician this morning. Y'all, I know I probably look like light bright, but guess what? It's going to all come together, okay? That was my highlighter and my concealer. going to use Fenty today. Because here lately I've been wearing Nors. I'm going to use Fenty today. Over it. So, back to what's been going on with me. Um, I have just been, I guess, feeling like I'm suffering in silence. Um, the past, I want to say. September, October ish. Today is November the 9th, just for uh, a reference, okay, on the timestamp. Um, I have been pretty much kind of suffering in silence until this past weekend. <sighs> Why this past weekend? Two weeks ago, I went to my primary care physician and, um, I went to just get a wellness exam from, you know, all the other doctors I've been seeing with the vascular surgery, with the DVT, with the um, thoracic, um, the thoracic rib removal, okay, with that, I have just been seeing those doctors and a hematologist, okay, and I was like, it's time for me to go check in with my primary care physician who knows my whole entire medical history. Because every time I have mentioned or said anything to <clears throat> any of the surgeons that did surgery on me, and for the record, May, May 17th, June 15th and September 20th. Three procedures, okay? Back to back. So, I'm trying to figure out, literally, um, why have I been in so much <laughs> discomfort when it comes to my hands and, like, my um, shoulders because I just had a rib resection so I'm not understanding <clears throat> the surgeons was trying to tell me my body is still healing it's going through a process <clears throat> everything is connected okay I believed it but for so long okay because I'm like you went back in in September <clears throat> to do a DDT to make sure that um, everything was copacetic and there was nothing else there. As I told y'all in the Get Ready With Me Live that come to find out the way my body healed after thoracic surgery It decided to do what it wanted to do, and that was my body created its own new arteries, veins, and it decided there's a, it's not a blood clot, but it's like just a, a mass that's like hard as a rock, okay? Hard as a rock. He tried to break through it, 
it wasn't moving he said however when they looked at it you know that they could see veins arteries everything just happened to roadmap itself around it and he said it's just probably how my body healed i ain't tripping off of that because you know what <clears throat> man can only tell us so much when it comes to how we gonna recover they can only guesstimate okay <clears throat> therefore the only healer you know how we gonna heal is the good lord up above okay okay so with that being said um i knew that was going on so he just told me really just give it like up until at least nine months to a year for you to you know uh, fully recover because when they did my thoracic surgery they did not go through my neck or like um, my back they literally went through under the armpit and when I tell y'all it is so many layers okay layers muscle tissue um, skin fat this is so much they gotta heal in that area because I still have um, a little inflammation that is just um, puffy not so much red or anything like that um, because you already know child when they when they put you under child you be in for a rude awakening okay it was finally time for me to go back to a person who knows me. Knows me. Okay. And I went back to her two weeks ago. And she gave me. Um, she We went over all the stuff. All the procedures I had. She told me. Um, from the outside looking in. She said. Everything looks great. She said. Um, I'm healing well. Um, she gave me the analogy of, you know, when you have a C-section, you know, a lot of times your incision will heal up into that 12 week mark. You know, you're able to go back to work, you're able, you're able to, you know, um, start doing things that you used to do. However, karma, <clears throat> you're never really healed from a C-section. They say give it one year to two years, okay? Because you still have this sensation um, where the incision is tingly, itchy, scratchy, um, still kind of sore a little bit, but it's tolerable, okay? So she, being a woman, she told me, I need you to remember that. I said, okay. So the number one reason that I went to her, y'all, I almost left the doctor's office because she's giving me all these kudos, okay? I almost forgot what I went there for on purpose. And it was the pain that I had been experiencing in my hands. And hold up. I'm not understanding why. So we talked about that. She said that, you know, Steph, you have um, had a, rec a career that required you to be lifting, moving, handling, um, configuring. <laughs> If you don't hush, boy, he's so extra. He's so extra. Okay? So extra. <clears throat> I forgot what I was damn saying because of him. Um, I mentioned that to her. She said, with my career, what I've done, um in the past and what I continue to do still you know messing with clothes lifting merchandising you know the whole shebang all right she said you know arthritis can start to set in she said you are of age where the body is starting to really go through some changes the change y'all does that mean I'm perimenopause she says, not yet. I say, I don't think so. I think I might be. Okay, I think I might be. 
So, I was just like, she said, we're going to run some blood tests. We're going to check for arthritis. And we're going to check for um, RA. And I was like, well, what is RA? I've heard about it. Just enough to know what it is, okay? And so, she gave me uh, a little education. She said, let's rule out those things first. I don't know if how they look like home the clown right now. Because y'all like, damn stuff. Is that enough blush? It is. It's cream blush, child. Like how it give you just what you need. Okay? So y'all gonna have to look at it for a minute. Okay? Until I until I do what I do. Um, She wanted to rule out arthritis and rheumatoid arthritis. Well, two weeks ago, I went and had the, the appointment with her. And then last week, she had gave me a referral to go to LabCorp. Went to LabCorp, had my blood drawn, and all of that stuff. Saturday morning, I checked the results. I checked my email, and I saw that she had emailed me. And she was like, you know, she wanted to make sure she saw me this week because she wants to refer me to a rheumatologist. She said, my rheumatoids in my immune system, if I'm correct. I'll let y'all know after I leave the doctor today. She said they're abnormal. And so she said, I want to set you up with a specialist um, so that, you know, we can we can get to the bottom of this. Now, I wish them doctors who had, like, done cut me open and all of this stuff, right? I wish that, you know, they would have had that same energy when it came to like trying to figure out why I have been so achy in my my hands and my arms and this has been since oh my gosh I want to say this has been since August okay and it's like what the hell is going on so at first y'all I really thought that it possibly could have been okay i'm still healing over here but the fact that it's affecting my right side too i'm like no it's time to get a a, a second opinion so i'm telling y'all this because i know early this summer i told y'all you know you have to pay attention to what your body is telling you how you're feeling you have to pay attention to that stuff because sometimes if we're paying attention to those things, we are the people who can catch what we just brushing off to be as nothing. Or, you know, it's called aging and, you know, um, I'm getting older and, you know, um, my body is not going to function how it did before. Them is lot, those are not lies I'm going to tell to my damn self, Okay. So, um, I took it another step. Got the clearance from all of them. The hematologist, though, she did tell me, like, my um, potassium <clears throat> has been low as well. And um, I'm going to talk to my physician about that, too, because I'm wondering, does that have something to do with, like, you know, me feeling the way I've been feeling? Um... It's just aggravating to just feel like you're just always sore. And it's like, to give y'all a, a brief description of how it can feel, it's like soreness. Like, if I had went to the gym and worked out, it's kind of it's kind of like that. But it's, it's every day. And I can't do it. I can't, I can't do it every day. It is like really been um, messing with how I move and how I function. And who likes to be in pain or feel a constant annoyance with their body every single day? And this happens to be parts of my body that I use on a regular. You know, my hands, my arms, you know, like your legs and feet, shit. Okay, so I just really wanted to get to the bottom of it, and I'm advocating for my own health because them surgeons at the hospital 
first time they met me was when I went to the ER about this massive blood clot I had in my left arm. First time they met me. And since then, I have kept my physician, my primary care physician, I have kept her in the loop. All the way when I got admitted to the hospital y'all James contacted her contacted the office to let her know that um, I had been admitted she knew everything every step of the way so for me to still be feeling like the the soreness and the achiness after I have like it's this month on the 17th will be six months from the DVT, okay? And it's like, I'm still feeling like some after effects. Why? So, I'm just so glad that she listened to me. And she just wasn't passing it off as if, you know, I've had surgery and, you know, stuff. Give, your, give yourself some time. Give your body some time to heal. No, she definitely told me to give myself grace. However, she said, we're going to look into it while, we, while you give yourself grace. So I can appreciate that, y'all. Your doctors need to listen. And if you really don't feel like you know how to explain like what's going on with your body, I highly encourage you to do some homework and some research, okay? Because before my doctor told me he was going to check for RA when I was looking on Google and I know Dr. Google child Dr. Google child he free and honey it's all kinds of information on the internet however I already had an idea that it could possibly be arthritis so for her to tell me we're gonna check for it I know I was paying attention and I was describing how I was feeling to the T. So today I'm going to see where this goes because she's going to um, be giving me a referral to go to a rheumatologist and we're going to see what happens from there. Um, I'm like ready to start working out and getting in the gym and stuff like that again. However, I just don't want to... Um, I don't want to hurt myself or I don't want to con continue to feel like I'm hurting myself if I'm in pain. And like, I feel like it's something that I possibly shouldn't be doing. So, I'm going to finish getting dressed because time is a ticking. It's 1130. I have to be at a doctor's appointment at 1240, okay? And I got at least a 40 minute drive. So, I need to give myself a complete hour. So, y'all, let me finish this makeup because... Only take me a long time, child, when I'm talking. I don't even like talking on the phone, child, when I'm trying to do my makeup, okay? Because it, it just hinders me, okay? So, I will tap back in once I'm done getting dressed. All right, y'all. I am at the spot, okay? And this is my cart. <laughs> that's, that's my cart, y'all. That's my cart. Okay? It's is full so now you see i done staged a whole clear rack and now i'm about to go through it mm -hmm. i'm about to go through it and maybe i'll show y'all some of the things i run across okay would y'all like that let me know today was a good day it really really was off to the next spot y'all ain't done y'all I don't get off until six o'clock. Okay. All right. Another full cart. Do not touch the counter right there. Time to start. This got in my favor today. They was whispering in both my ears, and as I told y'all, I get off at six o'clock. Six o'clock. I am done. Now, make it click, and I am on my way home. I just shut this just done down, okay? And baby, you better be ready for tomorrow. That's all I got to say. Ready for tomorrow at 8 p.m. So I just got home. I'm about to assess the goodies. But I'm also wanting y'all to see this fit for the day, baby. Okay. All right. 
outfit of the day oversized sweater got splits got on sock boots there's bond yeah color block got on a cute little beret to go with it child y'all know ig do not be wanting people to be great i was trying to show y'all my beret hair down today's the last day of this half up half down so let me go see jenny and let me go get this x-ray child i think this is pretty fly what you think Como estas, nistas? It's your girl, Steph, a.k.a. The Eclat Nista, a.k.a. Uh, the Professor Nista, okay? How y'all doing? How y'all doing? How you doing? Okay? So, look. I know I have been a horrible blogger, okay? Horrible. All right? However, if you know, you know, okay? I'm still trying to get into a rhythm over him, um, which I am definitely um, looking forward to the holidays for me to oh, be in the Christmas spurt, you know what I'm saying, Christmas spurt, and right now I am, I just want my, no, I'm not going to say I want my life back. I just want to start anew where I'm at and my life can be better than it was before all the surgeries and you know all of that stuff so <coughs> I'm happy that I'm here okay always that's a good good thing honey that the Lord woke you up this morning and you are here in the present all right so with that being said, I'm on my way to go get my nails done, okay? It's time, all right? It really, really, really is time. Um, I need to, while I'm washing my hands, I need to get my wedding ring off my finger. And I need to put it in my wallet because after I leave the nail salon, I have a appointment to get imaging done on my hands, okay? Um, imaging done on my hands and my wrist um, to just see what type or I guess how much inflammation I have um, because child I ain't trying to claim nothing okay I ain't I'm just gonna plead the blood of Jesus honey and God is going to heal me okay he is um, because I have been in some pain um pain that is tolerable yet uncomfortable you know what i'm saying who wants to be walking around in pain not i okay so i gotta get this ring off to get this x-ray done and um oh yeah my inflammation in my hands seemed to have went down a lot i should have took this off when I was at the house. However, I wasn't thinking. I was rushing, okay? I was trying to catch the mailman before he left so he could have picked up uh, Mrs. Lady K's box, okay? Um, however, comma, he wasn't setting me, child. So I'm gonna have to schedule for him to pick that up tomorrow. So, um, what I going on tomorrow? Yeah, I'll be home tomorrow um, when he come. So, I can't be picking up like super heavy things and stuff because it seems to just aggravate the crap out of my hands, my shoulders, it just aggravates me. And if I keep going days on, days on, and not like give my hands and shoulders like a rest, I'ma pay for it child this is gonna hit me okay and child i ain't trying to be hit with my best shot you know what i'm saying girl if you gonna turn your signal light ain't working boo you need to get that looked at okay so i don't know 
what I'm about to get done with my nails. Um, I know it's gonna be something a little festive, and I don't know, I may draw some inspiration from what I'm wearing. An abstract, a little, you know, arty art, you know, I'm gonna see what um, Jenny come up with, okay? So, I don't wanna spend 20, 30 minutes rambling to y'all, okay? But when I get out of the nail salon, I will be sure to come back and show you my set, okay? And once again, if you are new to my channel, y'all be sure to hit that subscribe button, child. Your girl is trying to get better with vlogging again. I really am. And I'm really trying to commit to vlogmas all month, okay? If that just means me chit-chatting with y'all for four minutes, that is good. That is part of vlogmas, okay? Show my face every day. And you never know what I might have to say, okay? But I'm excited. I'm so excited for the holidays. This is like my favorite time of the year. And particularly, my favorite time of the year to be dressed, honey. To be dressed and to be fly, okay? Let me get up in here and let Jenny get busy. I hope she doing my feet first. Cause she, she pretty snazzy fast when it comes to my nails. As long as I ain't asking for nothing extra. But you know I'm gonna get some designs, y'all. You already know. All right, y'all. She girl stuff. I got my nails done. Okay. And I got that wedding ring off while I was at the nail salon. Oh crap. I turned the car off. And didn't turn, didn't move the gear. Okay. So I'm at my doctor's appointment to get. get this x-ray i know that noise is aggravating because it's aggravating me okay but hold that thought y'all where's my glasses okay glasses check i have to use the bathroom so bad okay so bad because i was drinking coffee uh, from wawa on the way here y'all where i come get my mammogram my x-rays anything dealing with like ultrasounds and stuff it's an hour hump from my house and the only reason I come here is because I personally had a very bad experience. First time, I need a, fuck, I got one in my purse. First time I had my mammogram done. Horrible experience. So, this was the place I started to come get my mammograms done at, and this place works for me. It's an ugly, gloomy day outside. So y'all gotta put my phone away and I'll, I'll let y'all later. All right, y'all. This is after the live. The live through tall. And I'm getting ready to take this piece off because Miss Allie just purchased this, okay? And I'm gonna de-glam. So I told y'all child i had a mission today okay but a glam i ain't did that in a while i was about to take this hair out but i think i'm just going to i want to go somewhere first thing in the morning literally um i just i'm like okay i don't want to do no hair i don't want to do no hair then let's just, you know, we can rock this out until I come back from where I want to go in the morning. Because I think I want to go to Passaic tomorrow. 
because it's senior citizen day and I need to hook up with me a senior, okay? A lady, preferably, you know? Hey, girl. Well, can I be your, um, your daughter today? Okay. <sighs> Tomorrow's Wednesday, so I'm gonna see if Jada wanna go with me. She's probably gonna say no. Do y'all want to be doing your hair tomorrow? I just wanna get up and go first thing, like when they open. But I don't wanna beat that. I don't wanna fight that traffic. <sighs> so, it's after midnight now, y'all. And today was a long, successful day. Um, when I got my hands x-rayed and then I was on the proud child. I was on the move, all right? Um, I was down in Morristown, New Jersey today. Then I ended up, ended up in Cherry Hill. Five more minutes, I could have crossed the state line, y'all, okay? That's how close it is. Um, however, no. So, I don't know, y'all. I'm plotting it right now. I get my ass in the shower. This is synthetic hair. So just so y'all know, this ain't no Remy or nothing, okay? Same hair that you buy over there where they got all the bundles. And it be like thirteen ninety nine. You know what I'm saying? Now when I get in the shower, that might be something totally different. <laughs> but I'm just preparing myself so that if I just decide to put my head under the water, um, this just gonna slide off in one unit. Okay. So. I had a live sale, not a live sale, a live haul tonight. And I was telling them that I was having like an epiphany, all right? I don't think I ever like really got out my thoughts because when I'm live, it'd be so much going on, child. It'd be so many conversations, okay? If y'all ever participated in a live, whether it was Women Who Wine or a live sale, Lots of type of conversations be going on. So, what happened was, I went estate sale shopping with James this past weekend. Um, and to my surprise, I really, it's not my first time going. It's just that I think I see things totally different now. Um... I've gotten more mature, um, you know, I've moved a lot and I've come in contact with a lot of movers and things that they be telling us when we be moving, how, you know, if a kid or a, a family's parent die, right, all the stuff that you have in your home, in your house, everything that you possess. Do you really think your kids or your children or your family value it the same way that you do? Something to think about, right? And I guess I've been a state sale shopping in Atlanta. That's why I used to do it when we lived um, there. Um, did it a lot. That's how I ended up with so much shit, too. That um, just got to the point where, like, where will all this stuff go? Do I think my kids, my children, would keep everything that I have? And the answer is no. I don't. Um, Jasmine is the type of girl. Child, it could be something sentimental, and this girl will get rid of it, okay? I don't know how she would feel about things that belonged to me. Yet, 
um i just think she would be like daddy we gotta get this stuff up out of here okay so going to state sale shopping it just really hit a little different this time for the simple fact i'm thinking about what happened to the people like what happened to the people um that now all of a sudden i'm in their damn house okay and i'm like oh wow it made me sad y'all it did going through people's personal belongings and um like you go through the people's drawers i mean it's just, it was a lot and i was feeling some kind of way about it okay okay that wipe is done. So, for the most part, it just got me thinking. I, I do have a very large wardrobe. And when my mom had asked me, do I wear all of this? I was like, yeah. That's a lie. I do wear my clothes, now don't get me wrong. And if you've been following me, child, the only things that you probably have like really seen me like repeat is loungewear, joggers, um, of course, denim. Can't go wrong. Child. I hate when I wear like super duper pigmented my shadow be fighting to get this shit off okay so I'm gonna use some handy dandy Vaseline okay cause when I get out the shower I do not wanna be wiping again okay This is probably why y'all don't see me wear like a lot of like bright colors and stuff on my eyelids anymore. Cause it's just, it's like work to get it off. Okay. And I'm being careful for those of you like, stop, fix your eyes. I know child. This is a lot of reason why y'all don't ever see me wear a lot of um, <sighs> eyeshadow no more because I just don't like all the, the cleanup behind it. Okay, I wanted to get the majority of it off. Another makeup hack to use. Um, I haven't used it in a long time. That's why I don't... Um, do this often baby shampoo it will come right off and it won't burn okay all right so this is step one to be glamming use a wipe to get the majority of the makeup off when i get in the tub the rest will come off so um, before I take this hat off and scare the shit out of y'all, um, like I said, it just made me put things in perspective. I sew the sweater off my back, literally. And y'all know I have sewed things right off my back during sales and stuff or shit. People will see me on a picture or video on Instagram or something and be like, oh my God, that is so beautiful. Can I buy that? Because... They know I'll sell it off my back. So I'm just like, I don't want my family pressed about what they are going to do with my belongings. In general, the general rule that I followed after I moved off base was 
for every item I bring in, something gotta go. So, now that I got a big closet, it's the biggest closet I ever had, I can't even say I really wanna like max it out. Like, I want to be able to say, Like there's nothing going to waste in my wardrobe. Sustainability is important. Um, child, we don't take care of the earth. Child, the earth ain't gonna take care of us. Well, it can't take care of us because we were out here destroying it. So it just really has me rethinking the whole estate sale. How people just go through your stuff and your family just get rid of your shit. I mean, I don't think my daughters would do that. I do have in my will, like, who gets what bags, so though. I do have that child. Because, honey, they, they will be fighting about some Chanel bags, okay? But things that I, like, truly have an attachment to, like, there is a emotional attachment to it. Those are the things I keep. I have things from my grandmother that I could never part with because it was something that was her, hers. And when I wear something of hers, I just feel like, mm, you that chick, okay? I don't know, y'all. I'm just reevaluating and reassessing what is valuable. So I'm a maximist to the fullest, okay? in the way I decorate my house, to how I dress myself. Um, even when my kids was younger, how they dress. I should pull out some pictures and show y'all that shit, okay? Um, however, when I say I think I wanna become a minimalist, minimalist meaning I don't want a whole bunch of stuff that my family gonna have to call somebody to donate or to a state sale my things how do you feel about that that really bothered me that really bothered me this weekend and it was this one house we went to y'all house this lady had some fly coats fly coats but i felt like i was violating somebody's personal space I felt like that. I went through coat closet and I was like, mm, there was three coats in there I could have bought. Then when I went in her closet, I mean, she had some gems in there, okay? However, y'all could not get past the smell. And the smell was mothballs. <sighs> Something about mothballs and people homes just give me a creepy vibe. And it just, it smells like I know what death smells like, but that's just a reminder, like death is knocking at the door, okay? So I'm just like, Steph, it's time to be better, do better. So with these live sales, I'm not, I'm not gonna stop shopping, I'm not. But I know once I wear something, I already know. Am I being sustainable? Because I will put something on pause, for a whole year and you won't see me wear it again into the next seat into the following season okay and that's just i've always been that girl i've always been that girl even when i was young i remember my senior year child first 30 days of the brand new school year your girl had an outfit for every damn day i blame it on my mama it's her fault so y'all this is what's going on up under this hat. <laughs> so this is my my ponytail, okay? And <laughs> don't judge me. Judge mama, okay? This is my ponytail, my bun. So I cut the bun out um, where, it, where she had it. I cut it out. And I just left this... <laughs> And I just slicked my hair back. And I did one of these numbers. We all pick up the nine. That's right. See, I already know this is a hairstyle for 
tomorrow. <sighs> Cause I really don't I don't I don't have patience to sit and get my hair braided, y'all. I don't. But if I get up first thing in the morning and go do what I gotta do, I could be back home in this chair letting her do it and I could be doing something else. Okay? So I'm concluding. This is the end of today's vlog. So I'll see y'all tomorrow. Okay? Tomorrow. Peaches.